Hey everybody, Cookie here along with Swanee. We are going to be doing another podcast today. EA came out with a little update to their credit system as well as a little update to their crafting parts uh, system, basically the progression system. And it's a pretty small update, lots more to come, I'm assuming, but a pretty big change at least as far as credits at the end of games instead of basically getting... 300 credits almost regardless or even less than that depending on the match you now get pretty much twice that especially if you play well it now has to do with how good you are at the game and not just whether you're in the game or not so that's a major improvement they also increase the crafting parts in the daily crate from 5 to 15 which is well we'll talk about it so so on the first impressions of the new credit system and uh, just what do you think about it so far? Well, okay. I think that, obviously, this is a big improvement to the system that they had. But I think that it's not perfect. Um, I do like how it, get, it gets rid of the people that farm. Like, you can't go AFK now and just rack in the dough. Because I joined in this uh, match really late, and there was only, like, two reinforcements left. So I just sat in the spawn and I just didn't do anything and just waited for the match to end. And then I got one credit when the match was over. So you obviously can't farm, so that's a plus. There won't be any people ruining heroes versus villains. Um, I do like how you get credits based off of how well you play. So now people will actually strive to actually do well and play the objective and stuff. The downside to that is that there's still the exploits that are going on. Like, say I go ham on the ground and I have a hero and I play the objective and whatnot. Somebody that's in the sky the whole entire match is just killing the AI TIE fighters is probably going to get more points than me. So they could get MVP and get more credits and they're just farming that way. I don't see the fun in that, but I guess if they wanted to do that over and over and over they could technically get more credits than second place but so there's that problem but i do like how that credit system works because i mean for me 90 percent of the time i get first place so i get more credits so <laughs> it really helps me well do you think that like 600 credits is enough for someone who does really really well in a match or do you think it they need to give even more considering how expensive all their stuff is in the game, like the crates and the un unlocks and everything. Do you think 600 is enough I, for a good game? Well, it depends. Because uh, you can also, they added that thing in where if you level up, you get credits. Well, I'm already level 50, so I don't see any of those credits. I think if you're just, if you're not level 50, like say you buy this game tomorrow and you play the game. I think th the credits might be okay, because if you play well, you get 600 credits a match, and you level up frequently, you can rack in a lot of credits pr pr like pretty quickly. But for me, since I'm level 50, um, and if players reach level 50 uh, anytime soon, they're not going to get these extra credits, and then they're going to run into the problem that I have, and 600 isn't enough when you're level 50. So, I think it's okay right now for people that are leveling up, but if you're the max level, then it's definitely, they need to tweak it. Um, I think if they kept the credits the same way it is right now, like if you won and you got first place and you get like 600 credits, I think that system would be fine if you got crafting parts from the duplicates from your crates. The way that they still have it set up is that you don't get any crafting parts. You just get more of the credits to buy more crates. That is stupid. So I think it will work the way that they have it set up now if they just change that and give us crafting parts. But they're not going to do that. So I yes, I think that they need to give more credits. I think if you get first place, you should probably get something close to like 800. Yeah, that's It'd kind of what I was going to say. Number. Because if... Because of just how important crafting parts are, the credits are kind of downsized in their meaning. So you better at least get 600 credits considering how 
hard it is to get the crafting parts, which is what you really, really need in order to upgrade your star cards or buy new star cards. The crafting parts are better to have than the credits. So that's that's still their problem. If the, if the crafting parts are still going to be as hard as they are to get, then you need to keep increasing the credits more than it is. I think you're right. I think if they would have increased the crafting parts you get in each crate, even if it was always 50, like the minimum you could get was 50 crafting parts instead of, I think it might be the maximum you get 50 crafting parts in a crate, uh, depending on the crate. But I think well, the max that 75. is the max 75. Well, that's still too small. Yeah. Like it, it, it the minimum is like, 35. Yeah, no. The minimum should be at least 50. Maybe the minimum should be 75, as difficult as it is to get them. So, all that being said, the, the credits are going to have to be higher unless they increase the crafting parts because it just doesn't make as much of a difference. Like I said earlier, they did increase the crafting parts in the Daily Cray from 5 to 15, which gives it a little bit of meaning, but at the same time, still pretty pathetic uh, what the Daily Crate is. I, I don't even... I would almost rather at this point just not give us any crafting parts and just give us a star card or something. Or give us a couple star oh, yeah. cards. Sometimes you get a star card, but it just doesn't... It's so worthless. Uh, the 15 okay. crafting if you wanted to, a joke. Like, to get a, an epic star card, it's 480. And then, so, if you divide that by how many daily crates it would take, it would take you 32 days. Uh, 32 daily crates to upgrade it to epic. And that's not counting the upgrades before that. Nope. So that's, that's just the one card upgrade. So the daily crates are pretty pathetic. But yeah, no. I mean, I guess it's an improvement. Yeah, before it would have been a hundred days. So you know, <laughs> baby <laughs> steps. <laughs> They're getting there. Uh, they also did something in arcade. Uh, was the last part of it that I had forgotten earlier. Uh, they did something in arcade. I think that their credit wall that you would have every day got uh, was got raised up. I think from five hundred fifteen hundred. So I think you can now get like 1,500 credits a day in Arcade. Although I still don't think that makes huh. a... I mean, it makes a big difference, but I still think Arcade should be able to do a little bit more with that uh, than what well, it's set up at right they now. They can't make it unlimited. No, not because unlimited. Because people would just farm that. I 1,500, I, if you really wanted to, you could grind that out every day. All you have to do is make the settings in Arcade, like... One hit, kill enemies, make it so there's only ten enemies. You kill ten enemies, and then, bam, 100 credits, and just do that over and over and over. Do that 15 times, and then that's an easy way to get some quick credits, I guess. I mean, kind of, but per at the day. same time, like 1,500 still wouldn't buy you one crate. I mean, it's... I, I would put it probably closer to 2,500 if I was them, and I'd also give you a little bit more of an opportunity to get that 2500 than have to play it that many times but it's just my personal opinion i i think they could still raise that as well it, it, the the weird thing is and the thing we kind of forget is this whole system is set up to be um sadly it's kind of set up to be pay to win it's set up to be if you don't pay you're gonna have to play like a madman to get anywhere near oh yeah that's anywhere. why they're not gonna buff it too crazy that's probably why they don't have crafting parts in the and the duplicates to begin with, because I mean, they said they're going to bring back the crystals. I guarantee you, let's see, it's December 5th right now. I bet you sometime before Christmas, they're going to bring those back so that they can get all those Christmas kids to just pump in the money. So, yeah, they're definitely going to bring that back. If they bring it back the same exact way, people are going to freak out. So they would be stupid to do the same exact system right before Christmas because then everybody knows what they're doing. They're just milking the Christmas people, which is dumb. I don't know why they would do that, but that's a different <sighs> yeah, no, it's a different, that's a different uh, lecture. I, I am curious what EA's PR is going to be when they bring this back. I know that's a different story, but... Just throwing that out there. Yeah. If, they, if their PR guy pulls this off and makes them not look bad and they can go back to the same system, that man needs a raise. Man or woman needs a massive raise. Anyway, that's that's soft topic, though. So in general, though, the credit system is at least livable now. It makes some sense. It's been absolutely pathetic I think it's just temporary. to this point. Oh, they can't do that. <laughs> They're going to make that temporary, too? 
No, I think this system that they implied, this update, is just a temporary thing to just hold us off, like to make us happy for the time being. Ooh. Hmm. No, like I'm saying that I think they're going to increase it again in the future. I think. They oh, just, I thought they you were saying the, they're going to take little... it back down again. Like no, no, oh they're not going to take it back God. down. That would make no sense. <laughs> that's, that's what I was no. trying to think. I'm like, holy hell! No, because everyone complained about the system and they had to act fast. It took them what two or three weeks. How bad do but, you want their PR to um, get? <laughs> the PR would be horrible if they <laughs> dropped it again. Is what I was saying. Oh, yeah, that yeah, that doesn't make sense. That's why. No, I think that they're just they threw this out here to make everybody that's currently playing the game happy and to bump their PR for Christmas time. And then I think once they get feedback from the way that it's currently set up and people were complaining about this system cuz people always have problems and like we just named off all the problems with it. I think once they get all the feedback that they need, I think they're going to tweak it some more. Maybe we might eventually see crafting parts from duplicates because the games always get easier as time goes on. So I just think that this is a placeholder update that they're going to tweak it some more. Because I think, aren't they going to like revamp the whole progression system? That's what they've said. <laughs> I don't yeah, know what so that's going to look like. Just, but... just a quick VIX type thing. All right. Well, there's but our opinions. Overall, I think we both agree that. Uh, oh yeah, it's definitely. It's better. a good fix. Yeah. It's definitely an improvement. So good to good to see you. he's doing something in there. Probably <laughs> took probably longer than it should have, but better late than never. So that is our opinions here on the little update to the progression system with the credits and crafting parts if you guys agree or disagree or just want to talk something about battlefront 2 hit the comment section that's what it's for usually have good discussions in our podcast uh comment section love to keep that going if you guys have any suggestions for future podcasts let us know either in the comments or you could always tweet us on twitter if you have any suggestions at swanee plays games and at cookie plays bad we uh we take a lot of suggestions from there as well and hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already Donate if you can, and watch another video as always. And that's going to do it for us. Have a great day, guys. I warn you not to underestimate my powers. Do not throw away your potential. Don't force me to kill you!